Hey, what's up guys? So today we'll be creating a design that helps prevent the spread of COVID-19 through social distancing. If you're not familiar with the terminologies being used in this video, please refer to our graphic design cheat sheet linked in the description below. It will help you stay on track with all the tips and tricks of graphic designing. So let's get started. So let's head over to the create a design button on the top left. Hover over to custom dimensions. For custom dimension size, let's go for 500 by 500 pixels. I like going for that size because it's a perfect square that can be used universally across multiple social media platforms. Okay, so photos, this is where you can choose from the directory of free stock images. Elements, this will probably be your most used section because it contains key elements needed in your design like charts if you want to showcase infographics and financial reports, frames which allow you to easily plug in pictures into them for cool effects, animated stickers, lines, and my personal favorite, gradient designs. Over at the text section, you'll see visual representations of font combinations. This is mostly for inspiration, but definitely recommended if you don't know where to start. The music and video sections both contain royalty-free content because yes, you can also animate in Canva, but I'll make another video for that. The background tab is basically an easy way to implement a background design. This was recently implemented. Back in the day, you would have to use a little bit of creativity and use a square from the elements tab and make it the last layer and that would be your background. But now all you have to do is click a button for your background. So the upload tab, is super important because it allows you to upload your own custom images and videos, allowing for further customization of your design. So that's about it for the tabs on the left. Let's get started with the actual design. So the first thing you want to do is pick a background color. So let's head over back to the background tab. You might notice a panel of colors located on the top of this section. Clicking the palette icon here, lets you choose a very specific color that might not be listed in the default color section. I'll be using the hexadecimal to add a very specific color. So let's go with this one. So now let's head over to the elements tab since we want to find some designs involving people who are social distancing. So what I have in mind is two people at a distance but still socializing. I recommend you always have some sort of rough draft done before even designing digitally. Trust me, it helps. So let's go with these elements that I've recently used. Let's place her on the right. Let's adjust the size real quick. Click on the element, then drag the white circles on the corners of the design. Since she's facing towards the edge of the design, let's flip her horizontally so she can face inwards. To flip an image horizontally, hover over to the top panel and to the right of your designs palette, you should see the word flip. This option lets you flip any element vertically, horizontally, or even both. So now that we've flipped our design facing inwards, let's find her social distancing buddy. Again, let's go back to the elements tab and use one of my recently used elements. And let's do the same exact thing. Now that we have our two elements facing each other, we need to figure out a way to show our audience that they are indeed social distancing. So I was thinking of using an arrow between the two to easily symbolize the distance, even though they're still socializing. So let's get back to the elements tab. And let's choose this double sided arrow. Now we change the size of the double sided arrow relative to the other elements.
Everything's looking great so far, but now we need some text. Let's head over to the text panel now. Add subheading. So now I'm going to go ahead and actually click the text box and type in disease prevention. Now we're going to duplicate this text box and place it under the double sided arrow line and increase the font size to maybe 32. And I'll type in maintaining physical distancing. So, so far this is looking pretty great, but you might feel like there's a lot of empty space around the top and the bottom areas of the design. What you can do is head back to the elements tab, head over to the gradient section and spice up the design a bit. So I already made some changes to the design and have a new version out. So to save this image, let's head over to the download button on the top right. It's the icon with the arrow pointing downwards. And let's save your file with whatever format you want. But I usually go for PNG because it's suggested. And this is how it should look when you're downloading your design. And there we have it, folks. A nice, engaging, flat design, properly portraying your message. Thanks for watching.